In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Fitbit Inspire 3. So here on the front, we can see that Fitbit is officially owned by Google now. Uh, Fitbit calls this their health and fitness tracker, and here's an image of the device. On the side, it says that it includes a six month Fitbit premium membership, and it should include small and large size bands. And you can see here that I did get the black case and midnight Zen band. And there's some text here talking about how it requires the use of the Fitbit app with a compatible iPhone or Android device. And something new I noticed is it says a Google account will be required. So we'll see how that goes in the setup portion. And here on the back of the box just has some words basically. It doesn't have much here. It just says move more, stress less. All you have to do is wear it. So... I think there's a little more to it than that, but anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. So there's a little pull tab here. And looks like it just slides out. So that's nice. And we have a very faint Fitbit logo here. And there is the inside. So the tracker's over here, and it looks like inside we have the charging cable and the extra band. Over here, it's telling us a little bit about the quick start guide and how you need to download the Fitbit app and charge your device. I will go through a full real-time setup, so if you wanna do your setup with me, I'll link that video in the description below. Let's see if there's anything else under here. Just talking about the next steps. And inside, just a whole bunch of more instructions in different languages. So that's that. Let's lift up here. And it looks like we do have some product information. Welcome to the Fitbit family. And this is just a whole bunch of information in a whole bunch of different languages. So let's go here. So this is the... Fitbit Inspire 3. All right, let's go ahead and remove this. Protective, it's like a little piece of paper, kind of like what Apple did last year with the Series 7. Nice little touch to add the Fitbit logo there. And So here is that first look here, the Fitbit Inspire 3. So we still do have these little haptic buttons. They're not physical buttons on each side. Hopefully they've made them a little easier to interact with, but we'll see once I turn this on. You can see the display is actually pretty small. You can see the edge here and here. So this is all just black space. So the display does not take up the full length of this tracker. And the band feels pretty similar to other years. It does look like a black band. I don't see any hints of something else, but oh, I accidentally hit one of the buttons, I guess, and maybe activated it. So it's just telling me to go through the setup process to download the Fitbit mobile app. But I would, I would do say that the uh, color screen looks nice. It might be the same screen as the Lux, but I'll have to double check with my Lux. Let's see if I can take this off here. And just give you a little better look. It's always hard to do when this isn't on the wrist. So here's the back. So to me, it doesn't look like too much has changed. And the pin mechanisms are the same here. The band attachment is by this pin. Let's see how easy it is to get this off. I just cut my fingernails today, but that wasn't too bad. Let's see if I can put it back in. I definitely prefer the 
sliding mechanisms better. I don't like these pins because I prefer to have short fingernails, but I'm gonna pull this down and try to push it in. And there you go. So it's not too difficult, but it's not as easy as it could be either. And you have the usual hook and loop style of um, band keeper here. And so this is the small sized band. So I'll go ahead and see if that fits. I think it should. There we go. Maybe one less. All right. So here's what it looks like on my wrist. Now I do have a approximately seven inch or 178 millimeter wrist size. So that's the color combo and band on my wrist. So as you can see, I can fit one, even two full fingers underneath. And yeah, so let's see what else is in here. Looks like we can slide these out. So that's pretty intuitive and nice. All right, that's it there. So we have the additional band. So if this small band does not fit, there's an additional larger size band here. As you can see, there's an L slash G to indicate that is the large, larger size band. And then we have the charging cable. So this charging cable looks very similar to the type that was there last year. Something new I noticed here though is that there is the word Inspire 3 here. So if you have multiple Fitbits, this should help you know which cable goes which with <laughs> with which cable goes with which device. So let's see if I can show you how to attach a charger here real quick. So you will want to line up these pins with the gold pins on the back. So this is correct, this is not. And there are little clips on both sides. So we'll want to line that up. And putting it on should be fairly straightforward. Kind of hear it click and then tug a little. I'm already finding these side buttons annoying because you just hit them every time you're trying to interact with the device. And this comes with, yet again, another USB type A. So not a USB-C, but the regular USB. So you can plug this into an adapter or into a USB-A like on your computer or a power bank. And let's see, it's probably the same taking off, takes a little bit of force. So do know that it doesn't just slide off, which is good that it won't come off, but you do feel like you have to put a fair amount of force to get it off. So yeah, that's everything that comes in the box. We just have the Inspire 3 case with the top band and the small band attached. See here it says S slash P. And then we have the large band and the charger. So if you'd like to see the entire setup process or follow along and set your own Fitbit Inspire 3 up, go ahead and either check out the description below where I will link my setup video or you can just search how to set up Fitbit Inspire 3, wearable whisperer in your YouTube search field and it should show up. Otherwise, if you'd like to watch more wearable videos, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.